Welcome back my beautiful people. So today I am doing some laundry. I just got done with work and I felt a little grungy. But I have been receiving a lot of hate lately. And I think that honestly, like that's the hardest part about being trans. Yeah, the surgeries are hard. Yeah, like dysphoria is hard and like not being accepted is hard but the amount of hate that the community gets is like unbelievable and personally I don't go out of my way to cause problems or cause trouble with people and I understand if people like don't want to hear about it all the time I only talk about it on the internet because I want to give you guys information I don't talk about it in like my day-to-day -day life and I think that a lot of people like misconstrue that concept and it's like and people are so openly transphobic now it's pretty insane to me like I would never just openly hate a whole group whole community for no reason if you're looking at it as like a Christian standpoint there's so many other things that people do on a day-to-day -day basis that is sinful and wrong so it's like not one sin is greater than another so I don't understand that standpoint if you just blatantly hate the community you're just like an awful person because like for what so I guess like with that being said something that is a huge kind of milestone and scary type of thing I think is like navigating the bathroom there is so much hate and like judgment when it comes to using like public restrooms a lot of people don't want men in dresses going into the women's bathroom or vice versa you know what I mean and I think a lot of it comes from fear of like predators but that's not a trans problem that's a predator issue that should be looked at as a predator issue and not as something that is the trans community's fault or problem and invalidates our transition in a whole community. I think navigating the bathroom for me was really simple and easy because I, I wasn't comfortable with people using he, him pronouns until I felt like I was in a stage in my transition where I could look in the mirror and be like yeah I can like it's acceptable for me and that's not like I just have some self image issues and like I said like accepting things from people so I didn't feel like I deserved it and I don't think that that's necessarily healthy but that's where I was at so when it came to like using the bathroom like I didn't mind using the girls bathroom until I felt like I was in a point in my transition where like I could pass to go into the bathroom without being like stared at and without it being like uh, something that could potentially put me in danger the majority of the time I just used the the gender neutral bathrooms because half the time they're cleaner and there's only one stall and I don't like people or I just wouldn't use a bathroom in general and that's like, it sucks, but sometimes that's what you have to do. I think that it's unfair that the community gets blamed for people being like sick weirdos. Ultimately, it's up to what you're comfortable with, you know? If you're comfortable with going into the men's bathroom knowing that it could potentially be something dangerous for you if you aren't passing enough and that sucks you know what I mean like that's a shitty sentence <laughs> but sometimes you just have to do things that you're uncomfortable with like using the women's restroom because it is safer for you at the time you know it's something that you have to figure out it's something that you have to ask yourself what you're comfortable with and personally I wasn't comfortable enough until I could look in the mirror and understand that like maybe I could pass and people aren't gonna ask questions because I don't like to be an issue but there's a lot of hate and there's a lot of 
negative images that are put on the community that aren't our fault and it shouldn't be we shouldn't be blamed for people being creeps period that is like a big milestone and like step to navigate i think and i didn't even think about it when i was like thinking about transitioning like when is an appropriate time to use the male restroom and then you go into the male male restroom and you're using like the toilets and it's like Mentally, it kind of messes you up, like, that fucking sucks that I can't use a urinal like everybody else. And, if I may say, being somebody that has used both gender bathrooms, um, neither one of you are clean. So somebody needs to get on that. <laughs> I love you guys, thank you for listening to me talk, and I hope that you... I don't know. Made you think about something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I would love to answer them. If not, just do what all the professionals tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can follow my OnlyFans. You can follow my TikTok. You can follow me on Instagram. Do whatever you want to do. But uh, I hope to see you around. I love you. Bye.